everybody welcome to the channel thank you so much for stopping by to tune in on how to do the kyrian mission that is quieting the shriekers and you know like most recently what i've been seeing is that so many people are having such a hard time with kyrian followers to tackle some of these extra reward missions and it's clear that you know because arthas and uther are involved in the campaigns that this would have been one of the most popular condiments. And hence, the drawback of it was, of course, the mission table. Uh, when it compares to Night Fae, who have just a plethora of uh, different followers that have different sorts of abilities and are able to sustain for much longer periods of damage, our followers in Kyrian table are struggling so much. And as you can see, just so many people are having a hard time um, just posting on forums and uh, little is being done by Blizzard to uh, tackle this problem. One specific way that was found on how to tackle this mission was actually available in Wowhead in the comments and I'm going to drop the link down below. However, if you're more like me and you don't have a whole lot of time to play and get additional followers from Torghast as some people got Meatball for example, a more stable strategy on how to clear this mission will require some time. Specifically, you will need to level up your followers to level 40 if you only have 3. At this stage in the game, specifically in the mission table, you'll be actually have enough health and attack on your minions in order to be able to tackle this mission. Now your entire strategy in this mission is to tackle the left Outermore Screaker and to essentially kill him before uh, you are able to get down by the rest of the Screaker team. My placement here, as you can see on the left hand side is Kalea, then we have Nima in the middle, who are both the main soakers of the damage for your entire party, while the regular two available DPS are on the right and back right row, and Pelagos would be on the bottom left. I found this to be useful because the two main DPS, as you can see over here, are soaking most of the damage as you're trying to leave up your uh, Wildbringers uh, to deal their extra 240 damage on that extra Shrieker. Other than that, I'm leaving my minion placement here on the screen below for you. And if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully if I get more than 20 likes on this video, I'm gonna go ahead and make more guides for the carrying campaign and to essentially give you more tutorials.